Hey everybody, this is Amit Kumar and you're watching Click Replicate Tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain the implementation of global rules in Click Replicate to customizing the data according to the business rule. So let's get into the tutorial. Before that, I would request to subscribe the channel and like the video so that you will get a notification to the latest videos. So let's get started. Here we go. A global rule is not specific to any particular tables. It is used for creating the tables. Multiple rules can be used. Multiple filtration can be used. Let's say in the filtration. By records or attributes. Filter by columns. In a source table. Uh, the table names are like order, order detail. In the destination table, I just created a task. I just created a rule. When you are working in a, uh, you know, Outlook, okay, Outlook. Mm -hmm. Have you ever created a rules, global rules? When this mail will come from this guy, this mail will be automatically deleted or it will be moved to another folder, right? This type of rules in the mails. So in the outlook so if you're getting some of the unnecessary mails on daily basis which is not you know not your, right, belongs not to your right, perspective yeah. what we do mm -hmm. we don't delete that mail but that might be referred later on what we do we just create a rule in the outlook mm -hmm. where this any mail will be received from this xyz guy that particular mail will be skipped from invoice and it will automatically enter to another folder where I can refer later on Fold. something like this in my outlook yeah, yeah we're not yeah. defining any particular table any transformation mm -hmm. will happen anything 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 Transform. transformation happen uh, rename table yeah. rename column add column and if you want in any table so we are we are we are just adding 10 15 tables okay I'm not going to manually add a column to them to those tables first of all i'll rename table this is one rule i'll define okay table and name like it. table name like means all table name okay. schema name like all so any okay. table transformation scope scope means to what you what to, to which tables you would consider i'll consider all the tables or all the schemas okay what to do rename table to this or add prefix d i m dim okay prefix add suffix add okay convertible to lower case or upper case okay this is one condition you cannot apply multiple conditions at once if you want to add multiple oh, okay. conditions transformation rules then you need to add one more rule Okay, Next, okay. Rename the table to table one. No, okay. finish. This is one rule. I can add one more rule also. Transformation rule. Not rename. Add column. Okay. Add column for percentage percentage means all. Uh, transformation right. scope in all the tables I'll have to add one column what should be the okay. column name column name is uh, yes timestamp timestamp column value is what type of value is it is a date time okay I'll, I'll give date or date time fine Scope is six. In the time.
So since it is correct, it will not have any issue right now. Okay. Test parameter it's taking this current time will take. Okay. Okay. Timestamp. Now every table I'll just consider a timestamp. Next. Finish. Now two transformations I have applied rules. So any table I'll just consider. So I just wanted to remove this table. Table selections in you know invoice. I'll just remove this one. No, no more required. Fine. I'll take some more tables. Order or detail I've taken. Customer, I'll take up. That's fine. So three tables we'll have in the source. I have multiple tables, but in destination we are taking three tables. Now what should be the outcome? Outcome would be three tables will be there, and the three tables we will have the names will be renamed as per the global rule, and the fields will be automatically added timestamp so that we can, you know, uh, when it not timestamp. Let's just change it to uh, this is. Edit instead of the name as timestamp reload time. Okay, reload time, reload time, or reload last reload. When did it lastly reload it? So, this will be tracked in our table, right? We can just go to the yeah. table and um, um, see by go you know following this field finish what when when it was reloaded so save and then uh, let's run it so the after running this uh, you know our transformations in the click replicate by using this uh, global rule what it will happen it will just you know transform these three tables and uh, the three table names will be uh, changed as the prefix will be added for the table as tbl and the table we will have additional field as last reload time which will consider the current date and time and the later on when we enter to the table we can just get aware that when did these tables are lastly reloaded okay this is the purpose of our intention to create a global rule and global rule as I said repeatedly global rule is not specific to a particular table whichever the table as are going to be added into the task all those tables will be followed by that particular rule will be affected by following the global rule so this was the concept so let's uh, let us just uh, save this task and uh, reload it and we will see the impact now uh, you know uh, target database okay, okay. So row, uh, run this and let's see the impact. Two completed. There was it was showing initially two completed. One is loading. So finally loading completed. It's zero and three are completed. Right? Current stage is yeah. three. So this you know. Uh, progress bars source in the chronological order first of all so error is a different group if there will be any issue which is not followed by all these three like completed uh, loading and queued then it will fall under error okay if there is zero error first of all it will be uh, going from the right to left okay from the right the use cases the changes will be cross verified so error if it is zero then it will go to the queued states you know queued states so first of all two would be queued another one will be executed you know, one would be loading two will be queued when one is completed another one will be loading one will be queued when all three will be loading then zero will be queued okay when three will be loading completed will be zero when two will be loading then completed will be one when two will be completed, one will be loading, right? When three will be completed, zero will be loading, right? So yeah. just like you know, passing the ball from one to another, this way it will work. This to this, this to this, this to this, and this to this. Finally, 
we are understanding the concept of how this transition happened from the error to uh, completion okay error is a uh, cross verifying the settings or the uh, creations and then queues which is taking the task step by step and loading means, means doing the extraction of the data and finally when the data is get pushed to the destination it happens and shows in the completed so we need to ensure that all three tables which we have you know considered in the table selection are you know showing in this completed list three tables we have taken means three completed then only we can ensure that this task is successful if it is two completed it will be showing in that case you can just pretend or assume that one should be erroneous okay all right so all three are completed let's see the output so here we go we should be having three tables over here and that is yes dim customer let's see the customer table target table Okay, so this task has properly running, and you see in the uh, you know our table. Since we have created these transactions, I have just having the last reload time, and we just could add this uh, you know load statement to all, right? And let's see over here. The name probably would have not worked, but no, it's not worked. Instead of running, just reload the target. Three completed. Yeah, this is the reason why it was not worked last time because we have already run that, and the uh, I've just what I did, I just reloaded the target, right? The source did extraction happen, but since the target was already exist. The target was not refreshed. In such scenario, we don't need to run it once again. You just need to reload this. And here, in our order detail table, you see here, last reload time is mentioned in the order table also. It works fine. So this is very really useful tool. What I feel in the uh, creating the data warehouse and global rule is also very much essential. Uh, just assume that if global rule would not have been there, we had to apply three transformation rule against all three tables same way if you will have to migrate the database with hundreds of table then would you think like hundred time you would do all these changes no difficult database to database migration is uh, very easy and that again will be also helpful if you have a global rule when you just uh, have a global identification of the tables like i'll apply deem or target or anything i'll name it and i'll add the reload time and this field is very much essential to track when did the table was last loaded the time stuff yeah. so this was all about the global rule and uh, um, and that concludes this video thanks for watching see you in the next video bye bye